What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I have been sent a little gift for the humidity house. So someone reached out to me from Allochromes and asked if I would be willing to review one of their humidifier models and I told them absolutely. I told them I always give honest reviews and as long as that was okay with them then I, they could send me whatever they wanted. So this is what they sent me and it looks pretty sweet. Some of you may remember from my winter preparation video that um, while I liked my humidifier, it was very tedious because you had to fill the thing constantly. I mean, just constantly. It didn't even hold a gallon of water. So um, while it's nice and it looks really nice and it fits into little corners, so it'll be good for some things, maybe the bathroom, smaller rooms, things like that. It just like wasn't cutting it. So when Elecroms reached out to me, I was like, I mean, yeah, you can send me a humidifier, right? So let's see what we got here. Okay, ooh, it's got a remote. I had got this quite a bit ago and, um, you know, the whole world fell apart. So it's taken me a while to sit down and actually open it and check it out. So I'm pretty excited. Okay, so pretty slick looking. Give you a little size idea. Um, it's about the size of a toaster. So I can already tell that this is going to hold um, probably about double the water that my other one does. So that is great. Let's see. Okay, so this is the kind of model that you do have to take the tank off and unscrew um, at the bottom. Because I do want a top fill model eventually, but I'm also concerned that I know me, I'm lazy, and I'll never clean it out if, if I do that. So <laughs> this might be a blessing in disguise. Okay, so here is the tank, and like I said, this is the kind where you would turn it over and you'll unscrew this part right here. You'll fill up the tank. There's a filter in here. And then screw it back in and fit it back on the unit, and then it will start doing its misting. Spraying them, spraying them hose down. I should have worn my shirt. Poor branding, poor branding. Don't touch your face, don't touch your face, don't touch your face, don't touch your face. Now, now my whole face is going to be so itchy. Ugh. All right, so we've got some soft pieces of um, felt. I don't know what this is for. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Okay, uh, we have a little remote control, which is great because I'm lazy. A little warranty card here it comes with the scanny doodle the official term. Uh, this is a um, succulent brush. I don't, this is probably, it's probably for this. I mean, they probably don't know I have succulents. Right. If you are one of those essential oil people, I guess you can put those in here. I have asthma, so you can keep that sh away from me. Do not leave me essential oils for asthma in the don't. They give me a headache. I do not like them. I also get migraines and I don't want oils for that either. So this is a dust screen and filter cotton. And this goes somewhere. Directions are hard. Okay. Guess this would go in here, but there's already something in there. Oh, it goes here. Oh, there's already one in there. Okay, so these are backups. Good to know. Great. Oh, the cool mist can be set to a low, medium, or high level. The sleep function has ultra quiet operation. The LED display can be turned off at any time, which is great because I, my son has this thing about LED lights when he's trying to sleep. If there's anything, like he has tape over all of his little, it's, it's the whole thing. Water shortage protection technology prevents the humidifier from operating at low water levels and maximizes product lifespan. That is great because I think that I used to have two smaller humidifiers. One is still going and it does that. And the other one did not do that and it is no longer operating. So I think that that might have had something to do with it because like I can't be here every minute of the day. Well, I guess, I guess now I'll have to be. Generally, I couldn't be here every minute of the day just monitoring, you know, whether there was still steam coming out of my humidifier, so. Great. Look, look. 
This is like one of those 80s, you know, you remember those portraits that you got in the 90s where you were like. So I've got some water over here. And I have a small boy water filter that um, is made by Hydrologic. And I use that filtered water in my humidifiers because it doesn't have um, the same tendency that your regular faucet water would have to like build up hard water. Um, and that tends to ruin humidifiers. So I'm pretty careful about that. I know a lot of people just chuck their tap water in, but tap water really is different from city to city. And ours here is extremely hard water. I only brought a water, um, I only brought a gallon in here because I have no patience when it comes to letting the water filter fill things up, but I think this is a gallon tank. Okay. So this comfortably fits a gallon of water. Okay. <laughs> That's the sound you want to hear. Uh, this is the directional top to the humidifier. So this actually, this is cool because it enables you, this is different from mine too. So that, this is actually pretty cool. So you have one spout here and then you're able to turn this spout in another direction any way around there. So you'll be able to have two streams of steam and you can sort of decide which way you want to spray that secondary bit of steam, which is like so helpful because um, the, the one that broke was like a fixed unit and I couldn't control which way the steam went. And that was really a deal breaker for me on that unit. Oh, uh, ah, ah. Woo. all right, look at this. Okay, very fancy. Okay, I'm like way too excited, but okay. Like a quarantine facial. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has a timer. Okay, that's dope. Low, this is medium, and this is high, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, here is a breakdown of the buttons on the front. Here is the power button. This turns it on, and you can see this is the temperature in your home, and this is the humidity, the relative humidity. So we have a sleep function that shuts off the display. This is a child lock, so nobody can hit the buttons if you have like a little toddler that likes to push buttons because this makes a fun noise, so they'll definitely do that. And I could turn that off. I don't know why you're blinking. So to turn the child lock off, you just have to hold the button to release the child lock. That messed me up a little bit there. And then the timer, you can set your timer for how long you want the unit on. And this goes up to, let's see. 12 hours. So this right here is where you set your target relative humidity. So we're gonna put that at 60. And right now we're at 51%, so we got a little way to go. And this right here controls how much mist is coming out. So big thanks to Ella Combs for sending out this really cool humidifier for me to check out. I can't wait to update you guys in about a month. I will let you know how much I liked it. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Who knows? But right now I am pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, all the other YouTubers have their fancy other humidifier and I was very jealous because I just had this little baby starter humidifier. Now I feel like I have up to my game just a little bit. So this is Ella Combs Cool Mist Ultrasonic Humidifier Model. I have other ones too that do warm mist and different kinds of stuff like that. It retails for $69.90 and it's on sale right now for $20 off of that, so $49.90. And then Ella Combs did send me a 20% off discount code as well if you guys want to add that to your savings and give this guy a shot. That's a pretty good deal. So, so the code is humidity20 and I put the link that they gave me down below. Um, I don't get anything from that link. It's not an affiliate code or anything. That's just for you guys. If you wanted to check it out, you can save a little bit of money. But that's it for now. I will let you guys know in about a month how it's going. And until then, I will catch you in the next one, which will probably be soon because I can't really leave. <laughs> Bye, stay safe, stay healthy.